Hey everybody, this is Ray Halstead and Andrew McMill with REH CPA. Today we want to talk about rollovers as business startups, which is commonly known as ROBS. Uh, so what we run into is we have clients that were in a, let's say, a corporate career and uh, they built up a really large 401k and then they decided to leave that corporate life and maybe buy a business or start a business. Uh, the problem that they ran into is that they didn't have enough um, cash, uh, whether it be through savings or through being able to get equity lines to acquire a business. Uh, they're just, for some reason, they weren't able to get a loan or, or fund the acquisition themselves. So they have this ability to uh, tap their 401k through what's called a ROBS. So I've got Andrew McMillan here with me today. Andrew, can you tell us a little bit more about ROBS and some of the good things and bad things about ROBS? Yeah, so ROBS are very unique. Uh, not a lot of people know about them at times when you're starting a new business, but like you said, if you have a lot of, re of your savings in retirement accounts, ROBS could be a really good option for you to, to utilize those funds to start your business because what you essentially can do is you can roll over those funds in, in retirement and roll them over into your new business and use that as like your capital injection, your funding that you needed to get that business started. So it's a tax-free rollover. You don't pay any penalty on the rollover. Um, so it's not a distribution or anything. It's a rollover. So you take that money from your retirement account and you roll it right into your business to help funding and help get that kick started to, to you know start start operations so it's a great way to tap into that money but like you said there's always some risks and things that you need to make sure that you understand when you do this because one of the biggest one big risk would be you know you're utilizing your retirement your nest egg so um, just the the harsh reality is a lot of brand new businesses I mean they struggle in the beginning and some don't even make it so whatever venture you're getting into you know just understand you are utilizing your retirement funds to start a business that um, hopefully does great and grows and prospers and is the is, is a great financial move for you but there's a chance that it couldn't so you always just got to weigh that risk reward if you want to try to utilize a ROBS um, Another one is they can be costly, at least to get set up, because you do have to use a company that specializes in this type of um, setup because your new business really is going to be owned by like a retirement plan, by a 401k plan. So that 401k is gonna have annual filings that it has to do every year, and there's gonna be some setup involved in getting this created and just annual maintenance on this account to keep it in compliance. So there are some additional fees from that standpoint for creating a ROBS. Um, but uh, I mean, one of the bigger things that from the tax perspective that we go over with clients is if you are going to do a ROBS, they have to be structured. Your new business has to be structured as a C corporation. So we've done a lot of videos and a lot of those videos we're talking about S corporations because S corporations are great for small, closely held companies. But you have to be a C corporation if you're going to utilize the ROBS. And C corporations are, are different than S corporations. They have their own um, way that they're taxed, you know, they're not flow through entities, all that they, they pay tax themselves. So you just need to understand that if you are going to do a ROBS, what is the tax implications of that? Because now you're going to be in a C corporation, you know, how are you going to pay yourself? How are you going to pull money out of this C corp to, to live off of? So it's definitely a conversation that you want to make sure that you have with your CPA to understand um, not only some of these risks that you're going to be balancing, but also now that I'm a C Corp, what does that really look like for me going forward and how much tax am I going to be paying going forward because of that? I definitely recommend you get with your CPA before you make this decision. Um, of course, if you go to, so there's a lot of Rob's salesmen out there and you talk to a Rob salesman, it's the greatest thing since sliced bread and everything's going to be fantastic. But whenever you get with your CPA, he may tell a different story because there's a lot of analysis that needs to go into this to see if the ROBS makes sense for you. Um, like I said, not hating on ROBS. Uh, you know, it is a great uh, way for you if you don't have access to other funds to be able to fund a business acquisition if you have no other access to funds. But you just have to be aware of some of the other things that come along with it. And getting with your CPA and have them fully analyze it will be well worth the time and money to make sure that's the right decision. Because we, we've had several clients that were going to go down this road until we did, did the analysis, and it turned out that they were much better off not doing the ROBS. So uh, I guess the key takeaway here is that ROBS can be 
a really great way for you to fund a business acquisition. You just have to make sure it's the right thing for you. Awesome. Well, very good information, Andrew. I appreciate it. If you are considering a ROBS and you'd like for us to do an analysis for you to see if it makes sense, feel free to give us a call and we'll help you out. Thank you.